We're as frustrated as you more so because in the legislature, as past precedents, is we don't book money that we're not sure that we have. And this bill, and we've talked about, and I think this is probably where Representative Carlson is going, is we know that Chair Holberg is going to certify these numbers today. Yet, you've clearly said uh, we're not sure that that money is going to come in. So it, it's a very frustrating situation for us to see these bills go forward uh, without substantial evidence that's going to happen. It, it's kind of like the, the CGIP audit. We had the guy testify about they're going to come in and audit all the, the people who have state insurance and their families, and, you know, if somebody should be on there, they're going to kick them off, and that's going to save a bunch of money. But we're really not sure how much that one saves either. And typically, the legislature has not gone into these types of ventures because we're state government. We don't do things like that. We're supposed to be have sound accounting practices and to book money and to be able to count money that is real. Uh, Madam, Chair, Lanning. Uh, Madam Chair, Representative Slavik, we do have a fiscal note on the CGIP audit. I quoted those numbers. They came from Mr. Morocco, who I think all of us recognize as an expert when it comes to our insurance program. And uh, so it's not fair to say that we don't have it. We do have it. Well, just to clarify, I think the last time I had I had not seen that, so that must have come in since then. But on this one, on the tax analytics, we definitely don't. There is no fiscal note. 